Thank you for joining today. My name is Xiao Ao, Sales Director at Eventune. It's my honor to be here, and thanks to Overt community giving me this chance to represent Venture to share our backup and DR solutions for Overt. As we know, server virtualization has changed today's IT infrastructure from legacy to digitalized. With that change comes a lot of data generated. This data has become our property. In order to protect them, virtualization vendors has explored some ways for us. Let's take a look at. They built in some mechanism to improve users' data redundancy and business continuity, like snapshot, HA, and storage replication. But is that enough? Is backup necessary if we already have this security mechanism in hand? I think the answer is no. Snapshot relies heavily on production data, will cause poor performance of the production server. HA and storage replication can only prevent data loss from hardware failure. But actually, threat of data loss is everywhere and more than just this. Software crashes. Human error, virus, ransomware, even a natural disaster can get your critical data lost. Data backup is the last line of defense for data security. So people keep searching for backup solutions for Overt as many solutions does with VMware. How to efficiently backup their data becomes a pain point for most Overt users. Maybe you are one of them. Today, I will bring and share with you a series of new backup and recovery technologies for Overt. I hope you all will be benefit from it. This architecture clearly shows our multi-directional protection of the Overt environment. We adopt agentless mechanism to backup Overt VMs directly from hypervisor layer, hugely reduce deployment time. We also use land-free data transfer to backup over to VMs from FC ISCAS production storage. Also quickly recover the business within a few minutes, minimize RTO to minute level. In the meantime, we allow you to keep multiple backups in different locations and be able to take over business in case disaster happens to the primary site. To backup over it, we adopt two mechanisms, land-based backup and land-free backup. Firstly, let's take a look at land-based backup. To backup your Overt VMs through LAN, a backup plugin is required to install an Overt node. Backup server will firstly obtain VM information through Overt RESTful API and notify Overt Engine to create snapshot for the VM. Then backup server detects the IP of the host where locates the VM through REST API and connect it to the backup plugin. Backup server will then extract data from Overt VM and transfer them to backup storage via the backup plugin. Once transferred on, backup server will notify Overt Engine to delay the snapshot from the production VM. This backup mechanism is designed to cover all Overt versions, so it can be running on any Overt platform, including version 4.4. Land free uh, is another advanced backup mechanism for Overt environments where there is FCCN, IPCN, and NFS storage. Through Land free path, data will be directly transferred from production storage to backup storage by passing LAN. Do not occupy the production environment network resources and reduce the production environment workload pressure. Before doing a LAN-free backup, you need to install the backup sof software on a physical server. When starting LAN-free backup, backup server will firstly obtain VM information through over to REST API and notify over the engine to create snapshot for the VM just the same as a LAN-based backup. Then map the uh, FC ISCAS storage domain long to backup server. The backup server will be able to extract VM data and transfer them to backup storage via SAM. 
Once transfer down, backup server will notify the over the engine to delete snapshot from the production VM. Using LAN free, backup speeds will be much faster than LAN based backup. And there's also no version limitation. Support up to over 4.4. In a large scale business environment with multiple clusters, setting multiple backup nodes can help distributing all business data and backup them to different storages simultaneously. Firstly, install Vinchin backup node in a physical server or over to VM. Set the backup node IP in the same network segment with backup server and over to ma management IP. The backup node will act as a backup server to, pro, uh, to process and store backup data through Overt REST API. All the backup nodes will be centrally managed by the backup server through its web console. It's not only easy for management, but also improves the backup efficiency of large Overt environment. Backup node can be extended horizontally without limitation to make sure that whenever your uh, whenever you extend the production environment, you can easily scale out the backup environment as well. Backup node extension applies to both the, uh, both the uh, LAN-based and uh, LAN-free backup. To better improve incremental backup speed for Overt, we self-developed a new function called SpeedKit to quickly track changed data during incremental backup. After performing a backup job, backup server will tell Overt Engine do not delete the snapshot, but keep it in the production VM. When performing the next backup job, Overt Engine will create a new snapshot for target VM, and backup server will quickly compare the new snapshot with the previous snapshot remained in the VM through Overt REST API to find out changed data and transfer to backup storage. Then backup server will tell Overt Engine to delete the last snapshot and keep the new one in the production VM. So there will be always a snapshot remain in production VM. If your production environment generates a lot of new data every day, and at the same time your production storage has sufficient space, you can enable this feature to increase the speed of incremental backup. We also developed some functions to help our users saving their backup storage space, like deduplicate and compress data before written to backup storage, and bit detector, which will detect partition table and file system info inside each VM OS, and extract actual data to backup and exclude swap file, unpartitioned space, and partition gap which are actually useless for users. How much backup space can be saved depends on the data in the user's environment. But in general, if all, uh, if all the three functions are enabled, the backup data size can be reduced by at least 50%. Automated backup uh, is another key uh, concern for most of the users. With smart job settings, you can backup and restore multiple VMs in one job at the same time. Set time schedule for a backup and restore job to keep it running automatically without manual operation every time. Also set email notification to uh, help you receive job running report and alert by daily, weekly, and monthly so you don't have to log in the system to know what the backup server has done. And also, if a task goes wrong, you can receive uh, the error message and the process uh, in, in, uh, in the first place. Select a specified virtual disk to backup and restore. When there are multiple, uh, when there are multiple virtual disks in the VM, you can select which disk you want to backup or restore. Support full backup, incremental backup, forever incremental backup, and also differential backup. You can also choose to reserve backup data by number of days or number of uh, restore points. As long, as long as your uh, backup storage has sufficient space, you can reserve the backup data as many as you want. 
Other highlighted features include daily backup over the engine metadata. In case that overt environment crashes, you can manually restore the overt engine to keep all configurations in your overt environment the same as before. And centrally set up and manage strategy templates. Add the preset strategy template directly in new jobs so that you don't need to configure all the strategies one by one in each job. We also adopt uh, a multi-threaded transmission mechanism. Data transfer is no longer limited by a single transfer channel. Instead, you can set multiple channels to transfer data during backup, recovery, and migration. Significantly shorten your data transmission time. In addition to backup, we also enhanced our recovery capabilities for over the VM. As most of the backup vendors does, we can do full VM recovery to recover entire VM to over to production host. Besides, to meet some customers' request, we developed file level, uh, file level recovery to recover only file or folder from over to VM backups. To achieve minute level disaster recovery, we also developed instant recovery technology to recover any size over the VM in a few minutes. In the next part, I will introduce how does file level recovery and instant recovery works in over the environment. When your over the VM size is very large, it will take one or two days to recover it but actually you only maybe need some files in that VM. What to do? You can use file level restore uh, to quickly restore any file or folder by a few simple clicks without restoring the entire VM. Just create a granular re restore job and start it. Then all the files and folders in that VM will be restored and you can download them uh, to your PC. File all folder or disk are recoverable and you can restore them from any time point. The entire restore process will not cause any business interruption. File in uh, most of the operating systems can be restored, including Windows, Linux, CentOS, Ubuntu, etc. Business continuity is important for most companies. Instant VM recovery allows you to immediately restore any size over the VM from any time points in a matter of minutes, help you minimize disruption and downtime of production workloads. Vinci Instant Recovery Mechanism is mounting the backup storage to a production host via NFS a new virtual disk image will be virtualized based on the uh, original backup file and be shared to the new created VM in production host via NFS. Let's take a look at how it works. Firstly, backup server will notify Overt Engine to create NFS storage domain on Overt host through RESTful API and then create a VM on that NFS storage domain. Then Overt Engine send over to VM disk info to backup server. Backup server then creates a cache file on itself to get ready for store new data from over to VM. Once done, the backup server will put up instant recovery engine. The business system are start up at that time. From the user's point of view, the virtual machine is restored. Then you can automatically or manually power on the instant recovered VM and you are able to access to the VM and do whatever you want. The original, the original backup file is read only in the uh, entire process. New data will be written to the cache file in backup server. Since the backup data is still in backup storage and not yet been transferred to production storage, any size VM is recoverable in a matter of time. It's also a fast way to verify the data availability. When the VM is not in production state, you can migrate both the original backup file and new data in cache file from backup storage to production storage using Vinci Live migration technology, 
or other migration tool. Let's take a look at how to migrate the over to VM data. Backup server will firstly notify Overt Engine to create another VM on Overt host, then migrate the original backup file and cache file from backup storage to that new VM. Once migration done, backup server will tell Overt Engine to power off the instant restored VM. After the VM is completely powered off, Backup servers start to compare data in cache file and extract changed and new data to migrate once again to the new VM. Once migration done, automatically or manually power on the new VM, then you are able to access to this VM through over to manager and take over the business. Now the instant restored VM is no longer useful. You can keep it powered off or deleted from Overt production host through the Overt manager to avoid IP conflict with the migrated VM. To build a successful data protection and make sure your data does not lose or destroy due to any kind of disaster, it is recommended that you save multiple backups in different locations. You may keep one backup file in primary site, send one copy of, of your backup file to remote site where there is another overt infrastructure. When disaster occurs to your primary site, you can recover the VM from backup copy and take, take over the business from remote overt site. And you can also archive the backup file to public cloud for long-term retention with GFS backup scheme by creating three scheduled and mixed backup jobs. One daily incremental backup as sum and a weekly full backup as father, then creates a monthly archive job for the same VMs. A new full backup, which is grandfather, will be merged monthly and archived to the cloud storage. Now we support archive to AWS, S3, and Alibaba Cloud. In the near future, more cloud will be supported as well. Now I will take about 10 minutes to have a short demo of Vinci Backup and Recovery version 6. I will turn off my video cam for a while to let you see the full screen of our backup software. Firstly, log in to Venture Web Console. You can see some key information are showing in the dashboard. The server time, total uptime, license data, and hosts and VMs that are protected, and also backup storage status. And current job also shows the running jobs and when do they run in next time. And history job shows the last run of the backup jobs. You can also see the CPU and memory usage of your backup server and backup nodes. And also network flow are also showing in the dashboard. Let's do a backup job first. Before creating a backup job, you need to add your over to infrastructure and add a backup storage to Venture. To save time, I've already added my over to infrastructure and some storage to this demo environment. So let's do a backup job. Select the target VM that you want to backup. choose one virtual machine. And under this virtual machine there, if there are multiple virtual disks, you can select which one you want to backup. And next, select backup destination where to store the backup. And in this step, you can set up general strategy, transmission network, and individual strategy for your backup job. These strategies include time schedule, backup mode, speed limitation, deduplication and compression, and also retention policy, and some other advanced strategies. You can customize the general strategy for the backup job, or select a preset strategy group to add in this job. Here I have preset a strategy group, which is this one. So I will choose it to save time. 
review and confirm the details of this backup job and submit. It will start running as scheduled. To show you how it works, I will manually start this job. Click Start Full Backup. Click the job name to enter the job details window. You can see all the job running details in this window. Let's wait until the backup job finish. Okay, the job is finished. Let's see if it's in the backup data first. Yes, it's there. Okay, to check if the backup data are recoverable, let me quickly do an instant recovery job to verify it. Find the target restore point of the target VM and choose where to run the instant restored VM. Type name for the VM. Choose whether to power on the VM after restoring and get the VM connected to some network. Next. So the job has been created. Now I will manually start this job. You can see all the running log details here. Now the instant recovered VM has been created. We can go to overt. We can go to overt manager to check the VM. Yeah, it's here. Okay, let me open its console. See if this VM can be recovered and restart. Okay, so now this VM have been successfully restored. You can write any new data or check any files inside this VM. And when your VM is in break time, you can migrate this VM to your production storage from backup storage, as I mentioned. Now let me show you how to use granular restore to restore single files from the backups. Find the granular restore job and find your target restore point, which is the one I just backed up, and next. Then manually start this job. Okay, the files and folders in that VM has been restored. You can just uh, select the entire file to download or, so find the, or find your target file or folder and click download. Let me try one. It will be downloaded to your PC and you will be able to find it here in your download list. Okay, that's how we use granular restore to restore single files and folders. The next I will show you how to copy the backups to a secondary storage. Go to copy. And of course, select target VM. Next. And set up the schedule for your backup copy job. Daily, weekly, or monthly. And next. And select a copy destination where to store the copies. And also transmission network and retention policy. Next and review and confirm the configurations. And start this job manually again. 
just the same as backup job. You can see all the details here. Okay, the job is done. Let's see if the copy data is in the copy data list. Yeah, that's, this is the one we just created and the data inside is here. You can see the details here. If you want to transfer the backup copy back to your primary location, you can create a copy restore job to get it from here. Next, here, choose the restore destination where to store the copy and also a transmission network. Next. It will automatically run. Okay, the copy restore job done. Let's see if it's in the copy data. Right, this is the job we just finished, copy restore job. And its data are here, just the same as a copy job. Exactly the same. Archive job steps is the same as copy backups. Since we don't have much time, I will prefer to leave the archive demo for next time. Or you can download Vention from our website and test this feature by yourself. So that's all for today's demo sharing. The next part, I would like to introduce a little bit about the company behind these technologies. Who is Vention? Allow me to share a few pictures. Right, Panda. The city where Panda comes from is named Chengdu. It's also the Chinese national software industry base. This is the place where Vinching was born. Vinching has provided data protection solutions since 2015 based in Chengdu. It's uh, also the very first virtual machine backup vendor in China. Our R&D team leaders has more than 10 years of experience in data protection, focusing on the backup and uh, disaster recovery technology research and development. It is also technical partner of the world's leading virtualization vendors, including Red Hat. We own uh, complete intellectual property rights and independently develops all the technologies. Also, we got the first patent for instant recovery technology in China. As you can see, we've held some events in the market and also been interviewed by the Chinese TV stations. We are also technical alliance partner with VMware, Red Hat, Citrix, Oracle, OpenStack, and now we've also joined in Overt community as a recommended backup provider by the Overt board. So uh, thanks again to Overt community. Here I listed some of Vinci's customers. They are from different industries. Industry leaders include the China State Grid with over 900,000 of employees, China Mobile and China Telecom, each with over 400,000 of employees, Sandong Province government with over 200,000 of civil servants. Customers from other countries include the Fidoka Telecommunication from uh, Italy, League, the Energy Group from Germany, BVB Bus Transportation uh, Group from Switzerland, and uh, MB, manufacturer from USA with branch office in Singapore and China, Novo Tempo TV uh, broadcast from Brazil, and Bayport Finance from Mexico, uh, etc. All of these customers use Vention Backup Solution to protect their critical data and guarantee their business continuity. And the last, I'd like to share two typical customer stories who use Vention to protect their overt environment. The first one is a Hybrid Data Center, a Brazilian company in IT aspect. They provide Vention Backup as a service for their uh, clients. 
and they have over 200, uh, 200 VMs running on over to infrastructure. Before they knowing about Venge, they use legacy backup mode. Uh, because of the heavy work on deploying agent in each VM, they couldn't protect all VMs. So they only picked uh, some most important ones to protect. That also caused a huge waste of their, uh, of their time on deployment. After switch to venturing agent less backup mode, they only spent less than 30 minutes to finish the deployment and got their all VMs under protection. Another case uh, I'd like to share is from Austra. Uh, the name is uh, Explio, an IT service company uh, providing virtual server hosting service. They have uh, three data centers in Austria, Czech, and uh, Slovak. One data center runs uh, SAP hosting servers on over the platform. They were using also the uh, legacy backup mode to protect their database in Overt. With the growth of uh, business volume, the traditional database backup mode continuously increased their manpower and time investment. So they switched to Vinching. With the quick snapshot function of Vinching, uh, Explio has transactional consistent snapshots of HANA, MaxDB, DB2, and Oracle database. Such, uh, such consistent snapshots are fully supported by SAP and therefore Explio felt it's uh, very uh, comfortable to use. Venturing customer story is more than just this. If you are interested to learn more, you can visit our website, uh, Customer Stories. So that's all for today. If you have uh, any question, you can contact us via support at venturing.com or sales at venturing.com or leave us a message here. Uh, we will respond to you uh, online. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Just simply search Vinching or Vinching software. You will find us. We will keep updating what we are developing. And thank you very much and have a great day today.